Jesus Christ, my Master, I honor you for who you are and what you do in and through my life. Thank you that I can sit at your feet and hear even how you want me to be blessed, how you want us to be blessed in a very unique way, but also to understand the quality of blessing pouring forth from heaven on our lives. We want to walk according to that. Help us then, Holy Spirit, so that it will become not just principles in our lives, but that we will walk out every principle and that people will see the principles for life through our lives. God, so even as you said, we must become the peacemakers, as sons of God, we must be the pure in heart so that we can see you. Lord, that we must be the meek to inherit the earth. In all of these, Lord, then you also come and you say that we will be blessed when we are persecuted for righteousness, for righteousness' sake, because of our stature. That there will be persecution because of our stature, our righteousness in Christ. And it's all in the name of Jesus that we will be able to stand. Thank you, Father, that the kingdom of heaven will work in and through our lives then in such a way. We see, my brother, my sister, Matthew 5, verse 10, blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven, because they have stature in Christ. For the king will speak through them. They will come with stature. They will come with authority in every situation. But the persecution against your stature in Christ is not first of all from the world. It's from your own flesh. Because your own flesh does not like it when it cannot be in control. But in Christ Jesus, in the name of Christ, we can stand against our own flesh, we can stand against the spirit in the world and every demonic force. But it starts with us cleaning up the house and to stand against the flesh with all its lusts and all the desires. But at the end of the day, where it's all about me, now it will be all about you, Lord. But then I'm blessed when all is tested, when my stature is tested, and so that I can see where I must be and how I must grow in every facet of my life, so that I will rise up as king. In what way? As we will reign with Christ forever and ever as kings and priests. So I will rise up as a king under the authority of the King of Kings. But the authority of the King of Kings, Jesus Christ, will work in me, will work through me. If I choose this road of humility, even with all these principles laid out for us, with the Beatitudes, then God can trust us with this stature. God can trust us where success is not the stature. Yes, success can open doors, but let it be the success that is from heaven. Let stature not be determined by successful works or success with giftings, but with a stature that I have, that you have in Christ Jesus. And blessed are you, happy, fortunate, to be envied, if you understand that the testing of your faith, the storm is there to help you to understand how to walk with more stature in Him, how to walk in a life that will not be swayed from the left to the right, but that you can have your eyes fixed on Christ, author and perfecter of your faith, and walk in the name of Jesus Christ as a king. Wherever you go, the authority from heaven will go. Let it be so, and so you will change the atmosphere. So you will bring in the mandate from heaven. When you speak, authority will be there and things need to change.
because you come in the name of Jesus Christ. But may God give you the grace, may God give me the grace how to deal with our flesh, that the persecution from our flesh, the, the enemy, that it can work through my flesh, that it will have no place, no place to stay in my life. Because my body will be the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit alone. In Jesus' name. Let it be so for your life, my brother, my sister. Let it be so. Walk with that stature in Jesus Christ. And know that you are called into that place that when you open your mouth in the name of Jesus, things will change. God trusts you with his name. May you be blessed.